As you may have seen in a recent video, I just had the cam put on the bike. In the bike. I had stage two done to the, the Grinch. Well, that was, I always take the opportunity to lie, ride a long way if I can, right? So that way I had to be down there early. So I blasted straight down the turnpikes, only 60 something miles to the dealer. Had the stage two done, was there all day, had it tuned. But then I had the opportunity to ride a long way home, which is about 100 miles if I go out this way, sugar fields, all that stuff. You've seen me talk about that video before. And in that ride, it reminded me of something I was missing on my bike, and that was some decent frickin' highway pegs. Like, I only had floorboards, so we're gonna take care of that today. So these boards are all I have. As you can see, there ain't nothing on the crash bar. Um, and they're great because they're nice and long, and you can move around, dance a little bit. And I have, often actually put my left foot up on the primary just to you know really bend my left knee kind of shift to the right i mean i'm good at dancing around the bike and all that stuff but you still need something out front so this may not be the sexiest video i've ever done but what we're going to do today is put some proper friggin floorboards mini floorboard uh highway pegs on the bike i, I i've actually done regular mounts that put them straight on uh the wife's bike is gone because she's out running an errand um, but she's got like sort of straight mounts. I've done the pullbacks, the ones that are really intended for a bike with lowers. Um, why don't I just get them and show you what the hell I'm talking about? Those. Um, they're not black, they're chrome. But these are the short angled ones. So what I meant by that is um, this would be like your left engine guard uh, mount. So it mounts there. And the reason why these kind of have that curve to them is it's to get around the lower fairing. If you have a lower fairing tucks right in there and it puts your peg out outside of lower fairing. I don't have lower fairings, but it doesn't matter because he's, it puts these at a really nice angle. Are they the best looking because of it? Probably not because they do kind of stick out a little bit and stuff. But the reality is I'm trying, this is for comfort. This is practicality. It's not an accessory for style, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this is the ones that I think do best and do the job best. Some of you are saying right now, why did you buy Harley? There's a billion different options. Well, sometimes... And accessories, Harley stuff is best. I think the quality of Harley's grips are better than most aftermarkets. Not all, but most aftermarkets. I think the quality of foot pegs and things like that are often better than most. I'm running Advans because those are like high-end machine parts. Um, but a lot of Harley's accessories are practically a better product than what you'd buy from even the, the, the premium aftermarkets, not even all the, not even Amazon junk. I'm talking some premium aftermarkets. Specifically, I have experience with highway peg mounts uh, stripping out because they're cast aluminum or something. And when you put the bolt in there and tighten them, all of a sudden they get looser. Means the threads have let go. Anyway, so I've actually experienced that. So I was not about to do that with highway peg mounts. So I went ahead and bought, I bought these at, Paid $142.99 for him at Palm Beach Harley. And then was about to buy some old school rubber inserts. I actually, I was excited. I told the wife, I'm like, these look like pegs that you'd find in the 80s. I was so excited. <laughs> Not full rubbers. The ones that are chrome, but just have like a, a rubber insert and there's a bar and shield in the middle. I was like, oh, those are awesome. And I got up to the counter and the parts guy was like, you're an awful big boy for a little peg like that. I'm like, are they really that? He was like, yeah, no, no, no. You, you want some mini boards. So I went ahead and grabbed Harley's mini boards, just rubber. These, again, this is about practicality. And these were $139.99. That's why I suggested them. I think the others were like 50 bucks cheaper. Just kidding. I'm sure it was practical. So I'm going to throw these on. First time I've ever had mini boards for highway pegs. But, I, you know, this is a rider. So I want it set up for comfort. And tonight I'm about to go to the open house for some friends of mine, a, a, a local motorcycle club that I love to death. Uh, about 50 some odd miles away. And if I leave in time, I can take the long way down and probably turn it into a 105, 110 mile way circle down and back up to their clubhouse uh, and have a good old time, hang out with them, have a couple drinks, um, laughs, all that goodness. And then when I leave home, probably just take the direct shoot up because I'll be leaving there probably midnight-ish, one in the morning and riding the sugar truck highway 27 to 80 at like three in the morning means I'm just going to have a buffet of large insects. I and mean, we're talking pterodactyl size, some bitches just poof, right in your face. Like I'll be moving their wings so I can see, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't want to do that. So 
I'm gonna get these set up. This is just a couple of bolts, but if I'm doing it, I may as well video it, right? Content is king, or whatever those people say. All right, so here's what I got. That's a floorboard, and that's the mount. I don't know what to tell you. So there's a big hex head, Allen head bolt that comes out. One of my least favorite things to do in the motorcycling universe is deal with these D springs or whatever they're called. It's basically the spacer that keeps tension on this guy. It's just it's just a pain in the butt. Sometimes they just go blop right on in there, no problem. This whole assembly the assemblies being new might be better. I don't know. We'll find out. I doubt it. But I'm basically just take that take that bolt out, shove this guy in here while holding this guy in place so that the hole stays straight through, so I can get the bolt back through. Like I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about. This guy has to go between here and here and stay where I can get the bolt through, and that really sucks. And then you tighten that down, and this is a set screw that adjusts how far down it can go. Again, one of the reasons why I like using, you know, Harley accessories and some of this stuff. This is this is just going to be better stuff for everyday use. And then this bolt comes out of here. This swings away, and you wrap it around the bolt, the, the bar. Uh, there's a little, like, alligator tooth kind of gear in there, and that's how you adjust it. Wah, wah, this way, once it's on the bike, stick the bolt back through and tighten it down. And then it's just... 75 different ways of adjustment to get them right where you want them. You got to rotate them out on the bar and see where you want them. You got to get this where you want them. You got to get a set screw right. It's the reason I'm doing this now because even though this is not, you know, takes no expertise, it takes forever to get them just right. So not one of my favorite things to do. But anyway, I'll be back in a second when I've got these on here and then we can get started throwing them on. I told you this wasn't a sexy video. <laughs> so this bolt comes out. This bracket wraps around. You put the bolt through the uh, bracket itself, through this like rubber sort of washer, you know, and then and then back into the threaded part here. And then there's teeth in there. So you wanna kind of figure out where you want this up and down before you start tightening that. Then you gotta tighten this guy down until you get some resistance. You don't want this to just flop. So that you gotta crank the heck out of that. And this is where your problem is on your cheap mounts, right? What I had to do is really crank on that sucker to get this, the resistance I wanted, you know what I mean? So it doesn't flop down. So yeah, I can do it with my hand. It's not like I got to kick it, but still, it's, it's, it's tight. A cheap mount is going to strip out here where this bolt is going through and into here. It, yeah, it's going to suck. So um, that's why you really want to buy a decent mount. I think these are steel. I don't think they're aluminum. They're awful heavy, so I, I imagine they're steel. But they just hold up so much better, you know, than those cheapies you buy. So, looks pretty good. I like it. They're practical. The rubber is not going to slip off. I mean, these actually work fine because of these pointy little alligator teeth that are sticking out of there. Your boot does not move around on there. Oh, somebody asked about vibration. I, I don't know. I can't feel it. You know, like, everyone talks about vibration and isolation. These motors don't vibrate like an old shovel, an Evo, or even an early twin cam. So, it's not really a thing. So, there's, there's no issues with that. But the rubber is going to keep my boot on it as I go down the highway. So you don't really want, you know, flashy metal out here. They'll slip off. And I'm not sure. I had them angled further back. And I remember as I was leaving, the dude from the dealership said, you might be surprised how flat you want those. Because <laughs> your boot's sitting flat here, practically. So why would it be like here, there? So I put them where I thought and then thought, you know what? I bet that's too far back. So I put them one tooth up. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to throw the other side on. And then, and then probably ride it tonight and screw with it and go, okay, I want this here and I want that there. And it'll just give me an idea. And then when I get it home, uh, I can have either the wife sit on it or I can have the wife, you know, adjust it down here while I'm on it or something, or even throw it into one of my condor chalks and hold it up straight and do that. But, um, so that's it. Not an exciting video. Not all of them are going to be amazing. Mediocre at best, right? So Comment down below any questions you got. This is, this is, I think this is going to work great and I'll provide an update later as, you know, as videos go on, but that's about going to be about the best practical long distance riding, you know, highway peg I could find. So, all right. Love you all to death. Take care of each other out there. We'll talk real soon. Bye.